Hello, welcome to Mentoring with the Masters. My name is Jennifer Kirkendall. I'm the Third Circuit Representative for the Young Lawyers Division Board of Governors. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Adriana Linares. Adriana is a technology consultant with the Florida Bar and she can be your consultant too. She's based here in Orlando, we're filming in Orlando today, um, but travels all over. Adriana, welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. Today we have, uh, you might have seen the commercials, Mac versus PC. Mm -hmm. I bet you get asked that a lot. Absolutely. What is your input on that? That's um, a very easy question to answer and especially for attorneys to decide what to do. What are you already comfortable with? That's what you stick with. Um, very regularly, attorneys come to me and say, oh, I just got this Mac. What do I do with it? And I'll say, well, why did you get a Mac? They say, well, everybody tells me it's easier. They don't get viruses. My kids have Macs, but I don't have any clue what to do with it. So my immediate, you know, my free advice is return the Mac, <laughs> get a PC. Uh -huh. So it comes down to really, what are you already comfortable using? And then stick with that. Um, a lot of times people just have this misperception that the Mac is gonna be easier. And I'm not saying it's not easier. If you give a Windows person, I mean a, a Mac person, a Windows machine, they're gonna go, holy moly, I have no idea what to do. So the thing is, it's what you're comfortable with. And realize that what you know on one operating system isn't necessarily going to transfer exactly to the other. So there is a huge learning curve regardless of which way, which system you're going to like, you know, so if you don't have the time, which most lawyers don't, if you don't have the inclination, which most lawyers don't, and really if you don't have the money to make the switch, you've got to stick with what you're more comfortable with. Functionality as far as Microsoft Office Suite, that's on either device. Yep, okay. Microsoft Office is on either operating system. And you know what we should talk about are case management and practice management systems. Yes. Okay. So about five, six years ago, it was a lot harder for me to say, well, you know, you're, you, you should stick with Windows because you use this case management system, this trust and accounting software. You know, now what's happening, of course, is everything's going to the web. So any cloud-based, web-based practice management program, and there's a lot of them, that runs on a non the specific operating system browser is gonna be just fine on either one. So today, attorneys have more choices than ever, and good choices too when it comes to choosing legal specific software. Now there are certain areas of law that, that doesn't lend itself to that sort of practice management program. Estate planning, there aren't as many. You know, It's very generic case management and practice management that's gonna allow you to really have those robust systems on a Mac. Um, of course, for a PC, you've got the options that you've always had, and those keep developing. Sure. What about the cost of a Mac versus PC? Well, generally, we all know that Macs are a little bit more expensive. So if you have the money, then you want to buy a Mac. And you want to buy the most expensive one of whatever system you're buying. You know, you can buy today a Windows laptop for $400. But you know, for six, you're gonna get more memory, more RAM, it's gonna be a little bit better. So you take your budget and you, you know, go into the IT store and you go, look, this is the max budget I have. What is the biggest bang I can get for my buck on this? I'm a, I jokingly call myself buy, buy tech, because I switch between the two and I always try to figure out the two. <laughs> uh -huh. But for every one Mac that I buy, I get three or four Windows machines. So I'm regularly getting a new laptop because it's thinner, it's got touch, you know, almost for the price of what two, what, two of those for the price of one Mac. So really comes down to your budget. They're both wonderful operating systems. You can be very efficient in both of them. It really, really comes down to taking the time to learn how to be efficient on the machine and the operating system that you want. Okay, great, great tips. Thank you for joining us here today. And sure. that'll conclude this video of Mentoring with the Masters. Check back regularly as we'll have more videos coming out all the time. Thank you.